Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samuel? It's good today. We're doing a ranked 1v1. I'm playing the goddess of demonetization. Don't say the name or you'll get banned with a copyright strike on your channel. Basically, just because of the fact that this girl... I am not afraid. I was born don't say your name. Alright, nice. No namesays, boys. We're in there. We're in there, like swimwear, we're in there, hell yeah, we're in there, like swimwear. I want to invade, but I feel like I can't invade, but I want to invade. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, he doesn't start his blue, huh? Oh no, he does. He does. He does. Minions have spawned. All right, nice. Hit him with the invades, boys. We did it. I really did not think that would work. Quite honestly, I'm still kind of amazed it worked. But you know what? I'll take what I can get. I don't need to back. What am I doing? Stay back. Good. Okay. Well, he's fucking infinitely better at me than landing auto attacks. Holy Christ. He also has Hunter's Blessing, so his auto attacks do like a whole hell of a lot of damage. His auto attacks do as much as my one. Like, actually, like, no flex. I don't quite have enough to get a Bancrofts yet. He's probably just grabbing tier 2 boots right now, so his power spike is going to be a little bit quicker than mine, which means more than likely he just gets to solidify his own red buff. <coughs> which sucks for me, but also nothing I can really do about it if we're completely honest with ourselves. There is no turning back now. So yeah, he's just going to go push that wave. Do the red buff, because he got the tier 2 boots, just like I said. He has a cheaper power spike. Um, so, it really sucks. He gets ahead because of it, but I get a finished item, which is really powerful. So, there's give and takes, you know. Wait, when I silence his one, it doesn't go on cooldown, huh? I was always under the impression it did. But I suppose not, huh? You learn something new every single day. Even when you think there's nothing new to learn, you learn. Seems slightly overkill. Oh, that was a really smooth. So basically, I didn't I couldn't really explain it while I was doing it because um well, my brain power was elsewhere. However, it was really smooth because I um I stunned him. I dropped the alt, then I immediately popped it because I knew for a fact, 100% of the time, this man uses his Aegis. He doesn't want to get hit by by Goddess of Demonetization alt because nobody does, because that shit hurts. So, um, I knew if I stunned him and then immediately dropped and detonated the alt, 
there was no chance in hell that we wouldn't get his Aegis and still do the damage. So now that his Aegis is done, next time I drop the ult, I can fully charge it or charge it longer um, to the point where I might even be able to, I don't know, who knows, get a Sposion off. Uh, is red buff up? Light the beacon. Nope. Took it. Oh, but his speed buff is up, huh? No ah, uh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. Let's see if his blue is up. Nope. Unlucky. It's gonna hit the back line so that when they die I get the XP. Now we're gonna get our blue buff. Damn, he went straight into defense actually. Man's a little scaredy baby boy. Fighting against a scaredy baby boy, huh? I suck. I need a divine. Just want these minis. I think I'm probably just going to alt this. I think it's just important that he doesn't get it, if I'm honest. Because if he got it, he could have actually picked it up. And then probably beat me in a fight because of the fact that uh, he picked it up. You know? So, <laughs> it's important to me that he does not get those. I probably almost never get these minis. Oh, I feel like it's a little bit of a close one. Right, he's getting his blue. He has to go the other way because of the minions going into a tower range. So I'm able to clean up the minis here. And we are slightly ahead, not by much, but uh, there should be enough at the moment. Go. Alright. Um, he is going to start healing at some point. I don't know if I want to go Divine immediately, though. So basically, I'm just going to go Aegis because when Oleron ults, it slows down time by 40%. And that actually means, or by 40 or 30%, I'm not quite sure. But whatever it means is that your ultimate, your Aegis, your complete damage immunity lasts for 40 to 30% longer as well, which is super good against Oleron ult. Um, means you can pretty much Aegis the entire thing if you have an Aegis, so That's really good It's a really good uh, counter to all around alt Kind of doing no damage right now gonna give me the red buff damn he is okay cool not bad I will absolutely take this red buff off your hands won't be able to pick it up but that's all right 
Use my face. I need some cooldown. I only have 20%. Well, actually I have 30% right now. This is kind of like almost the most amount of cooldown I'll ever be able to have, really. And he does have healing from his divine, so... Or not his divine, sorry, from his three... He's actually giving me his blue as well. He really doesn't want to lose a fight. I guess he already died once. He, know, he knows if he loses the next fight as well, he's going to be in for a pretty rough game. So he's taking anti-snowball precautions. Did he get more defense? I'm just hitting for nothing. I wish that hit him. Yep. There it is. You gotta slow that ball moves. <laughs> um. So we got his ult, we didn't get his Aegis or anything. I was really hoping to get his Aegis when I ulted, by the way, but... He didn't take the bait. Kind of sucks, but also... Kind of understandable. He's going into a, uh, Bancrofts right now. Actually, color me corrected, that... Is a Typhon. But either way, it's... Pretty good lifesteal, so I am glad I went divine. Red buff is spawning very, very shortly. I would rather have a blue buff, so I want to pick that up. Ah, he is getting red. I just want to make sure that he's got to fight me in order to get to the tower. I don't think it's enough. I don't know why I detonated that so early. Huh. I'm not in a great spot, honestly. This blue doesn't spawn fast enough, does it? Let me walk away. Darn, I wanted those. Darn it. <laughs> how slow I am. I knew he was gonna ult that by the way, uh, but I didn't really care because the only thing I really cared about there was if he ults that, just make sure that you don't like let him leave for free, you know? He backed. He's going into more auto attack, which is absolutely what you would expect from an Oleron. I think. I 
I kind of want to go Chronos Pendant and pick up speed buffs instead of blue buffs. Which is what I think I'm going to do. Just because I, I feel like... Well, I don't know. Maybe actually going Arata to Hootie and keeping the blue buff for now is better. I think that's what I'll do, actually. I'll, I'll go Arata to Hootie. Because he gets low pretty quick. And it's just like I can never I can never finish. I can never... <laughs> Sounds wrong. But I can never, like, complete the kill. Oh man, I literally miss it all. Ouch. I can kill him here. Nice. Was able to get the kill pretty much solely off the fact that um, I was able to beads his knock up so I didn't get pushed too far back. I can take his blue, clear his wave now, and then get the tower. Um. I'm sorry, I don't think I said anything during that fight. I had to focus. Fighting an Oleron with this character is not the easiest thing to do. And this guy has over 2300 MMR, so... Um, it's not easy. It's not easy. But, it is fun. Because it makes me think. And normally, during these videos, during a lot of these videos, I don't have to think. I'm just like, ah, frag! Ah, get him! Angry! Ah! You know, like... I don't even have to worry about it, but... I actually kind of like this. Fighting a, a good player on a good god is fun. It is fun and it is difficult. And it makes me like, even though I might not be saying much during that fight, it's, you can see that I'm thinking, like if you just watch the face cam, you know I'm, I'm doing something. Alright. He does a lot of damage, huh? I think he also crit me with every hit, by the looks of it. Because he doesn't have much power. He only 316, I have 555. He doesn't have much power, so I think he actually... He crit me with his one as well. Almost everything he did there, he crit. And at 300 power, he has... Um... I want to say like a 20% chance to crit, so that seemed like a really lucky fight for him. But he gets my Phoenix from it, so... Oh my god, he actually pushed Tower and Phoenix off one kill. Ooh, wow, that feels real fucking awful. That feels kind of trolly, even. <sighs> yeah, damn. Can I even kill a wave? I have Rod, but I feel like I'm doing no damage. Maybe I sell Rod, because it, it feels not helpful. If I'm completely honest. Feels kind of whack. I got Chronos Pendant and Red Buff, so I have max cooldown.
176 in a single auto attack. Ouch. I feel like we both do a lot of damage, but he survives a lot longer. Maybe I need Pestilence. Maybe I actually sell Rod for Pestilence. Like I sell some damage for some defense. Because he doesn't have any... any. Well, I guess he has a Demonic Grip, huh? So I shouldn't say he doesn't have any pen. Ow. There's a lot of attack speed though. Ow, that crit me. Pretty sure he's fighting this because he's just gonna ult it. Holy fuck. He doesn't even need to do anything, man. Like, he just holds his left mouse and runs at me. I think that is game, though. And I, I do think this game was a good one. It was even up until his left click started critting 100% of the time. Which sucks ass, but, you know. It is what it is. I hit him with my one three times completely, and he hit me with 10 autos. Or 12 autos, and we did the exact same thing. Oh, that's really lame and quite honestly frustrating, but I guess it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, until next time, guys, peace.